Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial set, we are going to see about open filler storage operating system. Open filler is a open source storage operating system. It's a, it, uh, once we install with this operating system in any one of the server, we can use that server as a storage device. Okay. To download the open filler operating system, we can go to openfiller.com under the download section in the top right corner we can click to download the operating system it's a ISO file or we can click here also download open filler free we can see that what are the companies or organizations are using the open filler for their storage purpose at the bottom Motorola uh, Bill me later a PayPal service London Metropolitan Police also using the open filler storage open source All right, let us click the download By clicking the download we can start the download already. I have downloaded so it's not required for me On the day by day in the production environments in the IT field there are they are using Hitachi NetApp or Huawei storages and uh, more one and more and more okay uh, Dell storage uh, many storages are there uh, those storage are very expensive and we can't able to buy that for my, for our practice purpose or for our home use or for a small office setup we can use the open filler uh, open filler is an open source this is an operating system of a storage device. Once we install with this open filler uh, operating system in one of the server, we can make that server as a storage device in our environment. Here, for demonstration purpose, I am going to use a small sizes of virtual disk and four number of uh, virtual interfaces, NIC cards. Okay. So let us see how to start the installation. And moreover, I am going to use for the OS installation. I am going to use a 10 GB of disk, local disk, and uh, one and a half GB of memory, a one number of virtual CPU. Fine. Let us start the installation now. Just by pressing the enter, we can start the graphical installation. If I want to follow by the text mode installation, I want to type Linux text and press enter. So I'm going to use the graphical mode installation. Just I am pressing the enter. The same as the steps, the file will load and the Anaconda installer will load. We have seen the installation steps for uh, Red Hat, uh, Enterprise Linux, CentOS, Enterprise Linux, and CentOS. Uh, Cent no, sorry, CentOS Linux and uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux. So the same steps we are going to follow here. There is nothing much, but the operating system a uh, little bit different. This is for a storage device and that on for the virtual machine or just for home desktop or desktop machine any web development machine we can use it okay so let, let us see uh, how to follow step by step for the installation of this open filler storage operating system once the anaconda installer launched we will get this menu open filler the first step is this one so i want to choose next for the keyboard layout, anyway, I know only the English, so I'm going to choose English. You can choose your preferred language. In next step, it's asking, it's uh, popping up a warning whether you want to remove all the data from the local disk. Yes, I want to remove all the data. I don't want any data because this is a new setup, and I'm not going to define any disk layouts using the manual configuration. Yes, I am going to use choose the option remove all partition on selected drives and create default layout so that the machine will choose its preferred defined disk and uh, whatever the need for it the installation it will choose it automatically. I am clicking next. The warning uh, you want to provide it yes. So I am here using four number of NIC cards. Let me choose all the NIC cards okay first of all the ips are assigned with automatically the dhcp will assign the ip 
anyway i am going to set up with the dgcp first and uh, once the installation complete i will configure the ip manually okay uh, later we can see that in a next uh, chapter i am going to define that and the automatically via dgcp the domain name i am not going to use the domain name uh, from dgcp because i don't have a dgcp server here uh, let me define a storage one dot linux geek videos dot com okay so later we can see uh, let, later we can see about the gateway and dns whatever it want to use and now i am moving forward by clicking next let me choose the time zone the current time zone for me is dubai so i am choosing the dubai and click next and choosing a weak password the password which i am using for the demonstration purpose is very weak one and click next and the open filler installation will be begin now by clicking next the open filler operating system will be installed open filler storage operating system will be installed okay it's formatting the root file system and it will create the file system and by following it will copy the files what are the record files and it will start the installation it will not take more than even uh, two or three minutes pretty sure it will not take more than five minutes for this virtual machine i am going to install uh, what are the virtual machine i am installing is uh, very uh, low configuration uh, and it will not take more than uh, two or three minutes hardly so if you are going to install any any one, any one of the physical machine hardly it will take more than two minutes okay we can see the time remaining it's almost only three uh, three minutes 3.17 let us see how long it will take okay the installation is about to complete it took only uh, less than three and a half minutes we have done almost as usual the other installation the same steps will be carried out in the operating system while the installation it will install the create the users and uh, install the any tram and the network configuration everything will be done in the end of the installation so that process will be now going on installation has been completed the congratulations the installation is completed press the reboot button to reboot your system so i'm going to click the reboot the server is rebooting this is the boot menu once the server boot uh, we are getting the boot menu within five seconds it will boot into the available grub menu so it's going into the open filler operating system it's loading the operating system open filler esa we can see while the initial load it will take little bit time to configure everything uh, once it's complete with the initial setup it don't take more time but whenever we are adding more disk sure it will take more 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 time okay so we have received the web administration gui uh, URL here. It's uh, HTTPS semicolon 192.168.100.142 and the port number is 446. Okay. So if I want to use, if I want to access this server in the command line, just I want to use the root and uh, uh, the password which I have used. Uh, so uh, let me show how to access this storage server in the graphical interface. For that, I want to launch any one of the web browser. Once I have accessed the uh, URL 192.168.100.142 with the port number 442, I'm getting the warning for uh, it's a in circuit service. As, uh, just I want to click the advance and add to exception, get the certificate, confirm security exception and the open filler GUI interface is loading once we received the login screen we can use the credential open filler and 
password as the password this is the default credential we can change the password once we reach into the uh, uh, dashboard okay this is the open filler users uh, GUI interface of open filler storage operating system there are many uh, we can see them uh, tabs so we can configure if you, whatever we can configure we can configure it in upcoming chapters let us see how to assign the network how to create the volumes how to manage the cl clusters quotas and the shares and the service okay if you want to create your own account or uh, to someone to handle the accounts we can create it here also we can integrate with the LDAP or Windows bind okay let us see in next chapter about this this is the system information of this server we can see go through this once you're done with the installation please go through all the tabs and uh, just uh, look at all the available options please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right GNU logo and don't forget to watch each and every chapters to cover up all the advantages and disadvantages and features available in open filler open source storage operating system thank you thank you for watching